Hi there, this video is about a, a linear actuator I've made from a piece of aluminium profile, a Metal Gear servo, uh, some 3D printed parts and some skateboard bearings. Um, you can see there the, the servo that's mounted on the back of um, one of the 3D printed um, plates and what I've done here is I've broken out the um, potentiometer from inside, removed the potentiometer broken out to a 0.1% resistor divider and I've also um, removed the pin inside to allow continuous rotation of the servo. Uh, here we've got the, um, the 3D printed gear um, that I'll, uh, I'm using for a GT2 belt uh, tooth profile. That's a 6mm wide and it sits nicely in this um, uh, Eight, uh, eight point two by ten, uh, um, point one by eight point two by one point three, apparently uh, millimeter um, profile. But it's a it, it's a sort of standard size, um, despite it not sounding standard, um, that you can get in most uh, hardware shops in the UK. The um, the driver is just an Arduino. Uh, Uno at the moment and that's all you need for this. There's no feedback based on the position um, that the uh, the actuator is along the the um, aluminium uh, profile, although that's going to be the next step. Um, but I just wanted to show you it quickly and also to show you it moving because um, just from putting my fingers across the resistor divider uh, it, it adjusts the voltage sufficiently you can drive the thing. There we go. So at the moment I've got a one metre piece of aluminium profile on it. And I'll just rotate that to let you see the mechanism on this side. Nearly at the end of the travel. There we go. So as I said, the next step is going to be adding some mobility to know at least when we're at the ends of the profile, and perhaps try and find a, a, a centre point or a set point in in along the uh, the middle, so that we can um, home uh, a position as well.